Hello, I'm David, Head of R&D at Candleshack. One of the questions I'm often asked by customers is what is the best wax to use for my candles? There's no such thing as the best wax for your candles. It's entirely your choice. There is a large range of waxes available on the market, each having different properties. And today I'm going to help you to use the information that we have on these waxes to allow you to make an informed choice about which wax you want to use in your products. Candle waxes fall into two general categories, paraffin waxes, also known as mineral wax, and plant waxes. Paraffin wax and plant wax are chemically different, which means that not surprisingly, they also behave differently in your candles. Paraffin wax is a byproduct of the petrochemical industry. The properties of each blend of paraffin wax will be slightly different because each blend is made up of a different series of components. This means that within paraffin wax blends, some will be softer than others, they will have slightly different melting ranges, there may even be a difference in colour and texture. Typically, the melting ranges will be somewhere between 45 and 70 degrees. Plant waxes are often referred to as natural waxes. Some of the most common type of plant waxes are rapeseed, coconut or soy wax. The life cycle of a plant wax begins with the harvesting and crushing of the soy, rapeseed or coconut plant to extract the oil. The liquid vegetable oil is then purified and filtered. The oil is then reacted with hydrogen gas, a process known as hydrogenation, to convert the liquid oil into the solid wax. Plant waxes generally have lower melting points than paraffin waxes, typically somewhere between 35 and 55 degrees. So how do you decide which wax to choose? We are now going to compare and contrast the benefits and drawbacks of each type of wax to allow you to make an informed decision about what you think is best for your candles. The benefits of paraffin candles are nice shiny tops, good scent throw and vibrant colours if you choose to use colour in your candle. There are of course some drawbacks to using paraffin wax. As paraffin wax candles cool, they will tend to dip leaving a cavity in the centre of the candle. If you don't have the correct apparatus to apply heat to the surface, you may have to use a double pouring technique, which is also very straightforward. Another drawback with paraffin wax is that if your paraffin candle isn't wet correctly, there is an increased likelihood that you may see some sooting. Paraffin wax will not give you very good glass adhesion. This is also known as pull away, when the bulk of the wax pulls away from the candle glass itself. If you're using clear glasses, this can be visible, but if you're using coloured glasses, it might not make too much difference. If you pour paraffin wax into a cold candle glass, you may see what we call jump lines on the side of the glass. This can be avoided by preheating the candle glass. Paraffin wax candles will give you really vibrant colours, but it's not compatible with all colours, so make sure you include colour testing as part of your routine candle testing process. Also, it's worth remembering that paraffin wax does have an association with the petrochemical industry, so it might not be suitable for everyone's brand. And so, moving on to plant waxes, the benefits are, first of all, that we do have a wide range of wicks which would be compatible with your plant wax candles. Generally speaking, you'll be able to pour plant wax candles using a single pour technique. Plant waxes will generally give a cleaner burning performance and are less likely to cause sooting, which makes your wick selection much more forgiving. Some plant waxes have fantastic sustainability credentials, for example, Candleshack's RCX Rapeseed and Coconut Wax. The rapeseed used in RCX is farmed in Europe and therefore is not associated with deforestation of any sort. The coconut in RCX is obtained from sustainable farming in the Philippines where the farmers are being supported in sustainable farming techniques. And the drawbacks of plant wax candles are that you may have a matte surface on the top of your candle. Also, Certain combinations of fragrance oil and plant wax may result in you obtaining an irregular surface on the top of your candle after the wax is cooled. And so, in summary, we have talked about different wax types and the benefits and drawbacks of each one. It's up to you now to decide which one will work best for you, your hobby or your brand.